You leave the stage when you want to see the next game. You can't wait for the next game. That's what football should be. Life is so quick. What keeps you in the race is your experience. Your experience is what, you, what you've done in the past. Tactical things are so important. You cannot win without tactical things, but um, the, 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 the emotion makes the difference. He's a former professional football player and is the current manager of Liverpool. He spent most of his 15-year playing career for one team and then became their longest serving manager. He's won the German Football Manager of the Year twice. He's Jurgen Klopp and here's my take on his top 10 rules to success. Rule number 9 is my personal favorite and I'd love to know which one you guys like the best. Also guys as you're watching if you hear something that really resonates with you please leave it down in the comments below put quotes around it so other people can be inspired by your sharing and also when you write it down you're much more likely to lock it in for yourself too. Enjoy! For sure, we have only this one life, and we should make the best of it. Um, that's what I try to. Um, best to do the best is not to enjoy each day as, as it, the last, uh, or celebrating, drinking, whatever, because tomorrow it could be um, the end. No, no, no. It's um, to to make it a better place. But I think it's only possible in your surrounding. Come in a room, try that the people don't feel worse when you come in. So that's what I try to, that's how I understand um, life. How would you describe your footballing philosophy? Lively? Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's not the smartest way, I know. So, and it's, it, and no, it's, I know. Success but is yeah, the yeah, smartest. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, successful, <laughs> it's, it's cool too. But first of all, having memorable games mm. in a row, that's my first target, that the people really want to see the next game. You leave the stage when you want to see the next game. You can't wait for the next game. That's what football should be. Mm -hmm. And if you can do this very often, then you will be successful, 100%. If you always live in the future and, and hope that something will change in the future, you forget that you have to change a lot. If you always live in the past, that's um, maybe for old people, hopefully, it's, it's nice. Uh, it's nice to think about wonderful moments and things like this, but we are not in this in this, in this phase in our life. We are in the in the middle of, of our life. In the uh, we have the biggest influence on everything, and so we should try to 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 do what we can to to make it better. If not for us, then for our families or for our friends or whatever. And that's that's what we try. But I think being 100% in the moment is the only possibility to be, get better in the future. We are not on the world to do to do every do what everybody wants. We have to to be a group. Sometimes it's only family. Sometimes it's with friends. Sometimes it's together. And how I understand it, LFC is family and friends. Football becomes the game it is to, today because you work together. And in this moment, we have, don't only have 11 players who should work together. Not only 20 players. Not 24 players. We have to work together here in Melwood with all the people working in Enfield Road, with all the supporters in Liverpool, with all the supporters around the world. Yeah. That's what I what I believe in. And um, if we do this, if we are stronger in this, we will be succeed for sure. We will succeed for sure. I had bigger challenges in my life, of course, um, in my own career as a player and in my coach career or manager career. Um, yes, I had hard times <laughs> in Mainz. Um, to stay in Bundesliga with Mainz, it was the same challenge. It's you, you lose, I think, 60% of the games, but you have the chance to stay in the league and you, so you have to learn to handle um, these these things and that's what I learned of course of course it was always hard work here and from the first day on but uh, of course it's not the biggest challenge but it's um, the most strange situation because um, usually in football you all you're responsible for all faults you make yes that's it that's really um, the true story about football but in our situation we had so many problems with injured players and uh, that yeah we had to work and we had to, to, to stay confident, to stay self-confident for the moment when we are ready to, I don't know, to run, to, to fight in our best shape. And that's what, what we had. But in this time when we, are, when we had to work, we had one match, we had the next match, all, every three days we had a match. And yeah, so we went everything in Champions League, everything in Cup. 
and lost nearly everything in Bundesliga. It's really strange. It's a really crazy situation. But we are we had to learn to handle it because it was not it was not the absolute surprise that we had problems. We need we knew the season will be problematic, um, but um, um, we didn't you know that it is in this size the problem. So we had we had to learn to handle it. Now we are in the in the situation. We know we have to, what we have to do. The, the players come back. They get in better shape, and, and so that's that's very important. But we did only one step against Gladbach. It's only one. Now we're next challenge: Paderborn, then Frankfurt, and so on. So no easy game. Every it's always hard work, and so we try to do it. We really work hard that we can be as successful as possible immediately. But success is uh, maybe a different view for it. I would say in this season. Going to Champions League would be outstanding success with all the quality around. Yeah? So uh, there's one team, well, they're more lucky, big quality and all that stuff, no injuries. Um, Chelsea, they did a fantastic job so far. And if they do it, uh, can, can carry on like this, they will be the champion and they deserve it. And all the rest is fighting for the rest, more or less, better or, or worse, whatever, in different moments. And there's pressure on all of us and we will see who will go through. Um, but. When you get the target, it's fantastic. If you don't get it, it doesn't mean you, you, are, um, you are bad, you are not the right person or whatever. It doesn't mean, come on, try it again. That's the thing. When you are convinced about the constellation, when you are convinced about the people, and in this moment, you always think about alternatives. That's what I do always. So is there somebody else who could do it better? If I would know somebody who could do it better, I would not be here. So ask him. So he can do it and everything will be good. So I'm really, I'm really convinced about the... the um, yeah, the circumstances, the constellation, the basis we have, and that's what we want to use. How long it will take, I have no idea. But everybody should see that we tried really every day, really hard. I don't live in the past, but I like all our, so it's like with family, father, grandfather, things like this. So there's always a reason why you are here. This is, if you want the grandfather and father of, of Liverpool FC, and they are the reason why we are here. The life is so quick, but it keeps you in the race. It's your experience. Your experience is what you what you've done in the past, and and so that's sometimes you can use the experience of other people, and that's what we try. How would you personally describe your style of leadership? Ah, close to the human being. I think discipline is very important, very important. But discipline is relative, um, especially with, with you, when you work together with young players. Um, yeah, never lose the, the target. Um, I don't know how to say it. Never lose the target, always stay focused on it. So that, that's pretty clear because that's, and always, um, yeah, think it's still possible. So that's, the, I, I, that's not the right word in English. But how, how it, yeah, yeah, for sure, believe. It's, it's, it's a little bit different to believe. Belief is, um, you, can create, you can believe in something, but you can lose belief quite easily. So to be stronger in the bad moments, things like this. I watched so many matches in my life. Unbelievable. <laughs> and they're really not so, um, there are some boring games. And then I, I, I sleep. And I, I'm, I, it's so boring, I think, oh, why they meet each other and make this. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 people in a stadium and it's a boring game, it's not okay. So that's what we, what we want to see. We want to enjoy our, our own game. Uh, if we lose, okay, we, we like to win, but if we lose with our way, it's okay. If we lose with the way of somebody else, it's, it's, um, you, you cannot work with this. So that's it. It's um, very emotional. Very fast, very strong, not boring, no chess, like not this. Tactical. No, yes, of course, tactical, yes, but uh, tactical with, uh, yeah. with big heart and um, tactical things are so important. You cannot win without tactical things, but um, the, 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 the emotion makes the difference. Life in our, in our game, that's important. You're emotional on the side of the pitch. I watch you. You, you know, you. Yeah, but it's it, 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 along the, the game. Field yeah, that's only one part of me. To be honest, that's, most of the time I'm I'm not that emotional. Mm. Thank God. So, but during the game, uh, um, something happened to me. I don't know. I, I, until now, 49, I cannot mm. exactly explain what it is. But um, if I would see another person doing what I do, I would think, is he crazy? <laughs> Thank you.
the ground is not just the top anymore, it's the whole ground buzzes off him. Yeah. You know, and like, uh, he only has to stand up and everyone, in fact, sometimes you just look at the clock rather than watching the football because he's, you know, <laughs> yeah. see, so, wait yeah. see what he's going to do next, so which is fantastic, you know. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I made this video because Fernando Taveras asked me to. So if there's a famous entrepreneur that you want me to profile next, leave it down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I'd also love to know what did you learn from this video that's gonna have an immediate impact on you somehow? What clip was your favorite and what are you going to take immediate action on now in your life or your business after watching this video? Leave it down in the comments below and I'll join in the discussion. Finally, I want to give a quick shout out to Kelly Quinton. Kelly, thank you so much for picking up 10 copies of my book your one word and sending it out to some of your friends. I really, really, really appreciate it and I hope you and them are enjoying the book as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon. So let's talk about football, think about football and let's play football. That's, that's what we try. With all the pressure on it, with all the knowledge about how long it was since we won the last title. But if you want, it's, I don't know, 20 something years. Or oh, this is the first year since we really try really to win again something yeah. because we all learned now from the past. Then it's only one year until now. So that, that, that feels better actually. So we decide how it should feel. And um, if we are patient enough, I think a lot of good things can happen here. And that's what we have to learn. We have to take the games like they are. We don't have to, to value or rate the, gate, the, the opponent before the game and say against this it should be easy. No football game is easy. So and then it's the question, is it possible to, to create a most special atmosphere at 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon at Anfield? More special than in each other game. Is it possible? I would say yes. So let's try it. And the atmosphere is two, um, two things that's very important. It's, it's the crowd and it's the team. So. I can do a lot to bring us in the right mood, but um, I really would love to see that everybody goes with the right expectation in a game like this and is not disappointed in if when we miss a chance in, after 10 minutes and think, oh God, difficult again. It should be easier. Why should it be easier? When we can win against teams which the people think they are stronger than we are, why another team which the people think is weaker than we are shouldn't have the opportunity to win. So that's a, that's a real, it's a process. That's something we have to, we have really to learn. It's, it's, it's all, we can always talk about the same things. We can always say, but against this team, something was wrong. And it, I can 100% guarantee it's not about the attitude of the players. 100%. It's not that they think, ah, that's, ah, why should we put everything in this game? Uh, why? It's not about this. So let's try to create really an atmosphere which everybody is completely in in the performance, in the game, concentrated, is happy about creating moments, happy about creating chances, missing chances and information, not more. It's only it's always only the, 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 that we can show yes, we know how we can cause them problems. And if we stay then concentrated, patient, but greedy and direct, yeah, then we will have the next one. And if we the more you have, the more likely is it that you use one.